telephone line voltages simplified. This is a simplified look at uh, the voltages that occur on the telephone lines, also known as the POTS line. Uh, POTS stands for plain old telephone service. Okay, so um, I have uh, established a little multi-SIM uh, circuit here. Let me just uh, grab this here. Alright, so telephone line parts, voltages simplified. So here we have a circuit. I'm just going to open all the switches. Uh, <clears throat> what do we have here? We have 48 volts DC voltage and we have a 90 volts, approximately 90 volts, peak to peak, 20 hertz AC source. And we have a couple of switches here. Now, this resistor uh, that symbolizes our telephone set, regular pots telephone set. And these two wires would be at the tip and ring. Uh, of our telephone line. In telephony we do not say plus and minus or positive and negative uh, line or cable or, 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 or wire. We just call them tip and ring. It, it comes from these type of jacks, uh, the phone plug, plugs or not jacks. Uh, so uh, tip, ring and sleeve, that these are the parts of the phone plug and uh, tip is always positive, ring and uh, and sleeve uh, well ring sometimes you, you have the tip and ring only and sometimes you have tip ring and sleeve depending on the configuration of the plug okay now tip and ring also translates into a telephone jack this is the regular rj12 or rj11 telephone jack and these are the prongs and in the old configuration this would be uh, red and green or green and red uh, green would be the tip and red would be the ring also we have the black and yellow and blue and white all right so now um, when it comes to connecting a single line telephone set which is employing basically one single telephone line we would only use the two middle prongs on the telephone jack and all the other ones are unused. If you want to add more lines to the same jack, you would just go outwards <coughs> in the USOC configuration. All right. Uh, all right. So let's uh, analyze the circuit. Now, when the telephone set idles, it sits at the negative 48 volts. What does that mean? That means that the tip is more positive than the ring. Although the tip is more positive than the ring, the tip actually sits on the ground level. Okay? And the ring, which is negative toward, negative in reference to the... Uh, the ring is negative in reference to the tip. It sits at the negative 48 volts DC. All right? So now we have connected a oscilloscope here. Uh, just to see what the voltages are going to behave and we're simulating the ringing voltage. Actually we're simulating the idle and the ringing voltage. Of course this whole circuitry is quite simplified just to, uh, to get better visual on things. Uh, in, uh, in telephone central office or from the city side and the telephone on the telephone set side the of course the circuitry is a little bit more complicated all right but it's, this is just to visualize the voltages on the line all right so like for example in um, uh, from the central office uh, there will be more circuits connected to the line like for example the ring generator or or, or ring back generator or uh, just that would be the generator that generates the sound of ringing or a busy tone or things like that. All right, but we're not looking at that. We're just looking at the voltages. All right, so let's start the simulation. And once we start, the, oops, here. Yeah. Okay, let's just uh, align things the way they are supposed to. All right, so on the oscilloscope here we have the ground reference and 
that's where the tip sits and here is the ring at minus 48 volts and this is well this is actually the stopped trace on the oscilloscope from the previous simulation uh, so here is the zero volts on the oscilloscope and channel one uh, has the resolution of 20 volts per division so from this zero this will be 20 40 60 80 100 volts and so on in the negative scale here all right so let's just uh, turn the simulation on <laughs> this multi sim is just uh, all right so um, I'm going to turn the simulation on right now and now the simulation is running so um, let me just adjust those, align these uh, levels here. So tip and ring here. All right. So tip sits at the zero volts. Now the telephone is not powered. Okay. Let's turn something that's called a battery on. Now when the telephone is being powered, uh, the technical jargon is that the battery is present. So let's make the battery present. Here we have the switch that turns the whole system on and here we have a selector switch that sometimes we were just going to have idle voltage and then we're going to superimpose the ringing voltage on to the telephone line. Alright, so let's turn this thing on and notice once I flip the switch the telephone is going to be powered and it's going to be powered constantly with the negative 48 volts this is there is a resistor it's a telephone uh, it's a telephone it's our telephone okay so this line this trace of the scope is going to move down to the negative 48 volts okay so here turning the switch on switch okay the line has moved so the telephone is powered the battery is present which means that there is negative 48 volts sitting at the telephone and that's how the telephone basically operates it idles at uh, negative 48 volts DC which is always present on the POTS telephone line POTS yeah. POTS plain old telephone service okay. All right, so now uh, we have here the ringing signal, which is 90 volts peak to peak at 20 hertz frequency, which is going to be superimposed onto that telephone line. And the telephone, um, uh, the telephone set has it, an internal circuitry to discriminate the voltages, and it's going to sense that uh, 90 volts peak to peak superimposed onto the negative 48 volts DC and it is going to make the telephone ring so let's just uh, uh, let's just make the phone ring by turning that on so instead of just having 48 volts negative we're going to have 48 volts and on top of that there will be negative or there will be uh, not negative but it will be a 90 volts peak to peak 20 Hertz signal here okay click notice that here we have a zero reference and here we have negative 48 volts and that is the ringing signal so when the phone rings you're going to have a 90 volts peak to peak 20 Hertz signal riding on negative 48 volts DC right. when we stop ringing it goes back to negative 48 volts ring and not ring ring and not ring okay notice the ringing signal superimposing itself onto the negative 48 volts DC All right so this is basically the um, uh, these are the voltages that are present on the telephone line while the phone idles and while the phone rings. Now just a little side note, uh, POTS lines are being slowly phased out. However, uh, in a lot of places telephone lines, just the regu regular POTS telephone lines are still being installed, are still being present. That's one thing. The other thing is that even though uh, that uh, some places have completely um, removed all the uh, all the POTS lines, um, the most popular thing right now to install is the fiber optics. However, 
uh, the peripheral equipment that has to do with, for example, even with the VoIP systems, uh, there would be things that are called ATA adapters, ATA, analog telephone adapter, and analog telephone adapter, the ATA adapter, is uh, widely used um, when it comes to interfacing uh, the telephone system with other things such as PA systems, external ringers and whatnot. And those devices are simulating telephone the pods lines and the devices such as for example a page interface is looking for a telephone line simulation and uh, when the um, when the telephone system wants to communicate like for example with the paging interface it just sends the ring tone just like that to the paging interface and the paging interface is programmed to react a certain way but that's a topic for another day okay. so again as a summary when the telephone system the pots regular single line telephone set the one that you buy in the hardware store um, when it idles you are going to have negative 48 volts sitting at the jack DC all the time right? even when the power at your house goes down you are going to have the negative 48 volts supplied because that voltage is supplied by so-called central office which would be the building that uh, from which the uh, telephone lines are coming out so that is always going to be there and when the telephone is going to ring, you're going to notice negative 48 volts uh, DC with the 90 volts peak to peak voltage riding on that negative 48 volts DC. Again, click on. That's when the telephone rings. And that's when the telephone idles. Okay, so this was the telephone line voltages simplified.